Donald Trump's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, may actually somehow have gotten himself involved in yet another quid pro quo scheme. Now this scheme involves a Ukrainian energy tycoon by the name of Dimitro Firtash. Now, Mr. Firtash is the one who claims that Giuliani was involved in this scheme. And here it is. Firtash says that as a Ukrainian oligarch, uh, living in Ukraine, he had gotten himself in a little bit of legal trouble and he was facing uh, extradition here to the United States to face trial on charges brought by the U S department of justice. Giuliani reached out to him according to his own account. And Giuliani said, Hey, listen, I can help you with your legal problems with the U S department of justice. If, if you are willing to give us some dirt on Joe Biden. And here's what I'm going to do. Giuliani says, I'm going to send my two good buddies, Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman over to meet with you. And you can give them all the dirt that you have on Joe Biden. I'll go talk to some folks that I know over at the U S department of justice and see what we can do about the charges against you. And, uh, you know, we'll all go from there. Well, Mr. Furtosh then claims that he had no dirt on Joe Biden. He did meet with Parnas and Fruman, but unfortunately he wasn't able to uh, give them anything. And so we don't know if Giuliani ended up going to the department of justice and trying to smooth things out for Mr. Furtosh or not. But we do know, at least according to Furtosh's own account, that he did in fact make that offer, which of course would be yet another quid pro quo. Is it illegal? Eh, we'll find out. It certainly isn't going to help Giuliani's chances of not getting charged with criminal conspiracies, including failing to register as a foreign agent. If he was in fact working with this, uh, Ukrainian energy tycoon to get dirt on one of his boss's political rivals, that seems like something that's probably going to be added to that failure to register as a foreign agent charge. But here's the thing. Again, Giuliani is still Donald Trump's lawyer. He is the guy who, at least as of this moment, is heading up the legal team in charge of defending Trump from this entire Ukraine scandal. But Giuliani himself appears to be just as involved, if not more so in this scandal than Donald Trump. I don't think Giuliani is going to be able to come out of this clean. I don't think he's going to be able to go and argue in front of a Senate trial that Donald Trump did nothing wrong when he himself has essentially been the middleman, the actual henchman in this entire thing. Now, Furtosh's claims here have not necessarily been verified by anybody other than Furtosh himself. But if in fact he did meet with Parnas and Froman, um, they could corroborate this story and then things are going to look very bad for Rudy Giuliani. Parnas, as we know, as we have discussed, has been working diligently with uh, members of the House Intelligence Committee, turning over every single thing he's ever had. He's been working with the prosecutors. He wants to get a reduced sentence. So he's turning over every single thing that he has. And if he is able to corroborate and provide evidence that he met with Furtosh at Giuliani's request, then I don't think Giuliani, legally speaking, has a leg left to stand on. And at that point, he's probably going to have to abandon Donald Trump to focus more on the criminal charges that he is now facing. One of today's video sponsors is News Voice. Now in the United States, nine out of 10 news stories are controlled by just five corporations. Unbiased news with different perspectives is very difficult to find. And that's where news voice comes in. News voice cultivates news from all over the internet, from American sources, from international sources, and it puts them right there for everyone to see. The sources are clearly marked. The, uh, political bias is out the window. They have summaries written by a team of editors and journalists to let you know exactly what to look for. And right now, if you go to newsvoice.com slash ring, sign up and use this. It is an incredibly valuable 
resource for people interested in keeping up with the unbiased news of the day to understand what's really happening in this world. News Voice is a site that I have started going to regularly. I love the sources. I love the fact that they label everything clearly. And even better than that is that once you get into a story, if it's something you like, if it's something you're interested, or if you want to know more information about it, they have additional sources ready to go. They also have a phenomenal feature where you can uh, basically create your own version of Spotify meets Audible, and they will read you the news stories from your feed. Personalize it, tailor it to yourself, whatever you wanna do. With News Voice, you get the hottest trending news with unbiased summaries written by the vetted moderators. It's quick, it's effortless, best way to find the stories that grab your interest. You can uh, dive, as I said, as deep as you want into any of these stories, which for me personally, that is a huge selling point because one source is typically, for our profession, never enough to get the full story. So again, newsvoice.com slash ring, sign up today.